Greetings fellow tank commanders, in this video I'm going to be playing through the Kennedy's War War Stories campaign. Throughout the three chapters of this campaign I'm going to be using the 2506, which is just a premium version of the M41 Walker Bulldog, which is a tier 7 American light tank. These missions are kind of long, but I have sped up the parts in between the action to make it as efficient as possible. Enjoy! It had been over a year since the failed Bay of Pigs invasion. Now Khrushchev was within striking distance of landing a nuclear touchdown on American soil. President Kennedy wasn't prepared to let that happen. The United States was going to war. Sergeant Reese was part of an armored spearhead, which was going to sneak up on the Soviet forces stationed outside the US base at Guantanamo. This wouldn't be a conventional invasion. The element of surprise would be the key to a swift victory. Deep in the belly of the transport ships headed towards Cuba, the American war machine prepared itself for battle. But even the best laid plans can go awry. needed to keep his crew focused on the task ahead. With the Soviets now alert to their presence, every inch would be hard fought. The Major's orders were clear. Reese had to fight out of the landing area and locate the scattered American armor. Ready to fire. They found us. Releasing target. Penetration.
Reese watched the Soviet units roll into camp. He had managed to corral the surviving tanks into a fighting force, but would it be enough? Sergeant Reese wiped his brow. The botched landing had nearly spelt disaster for his men. Luckily, they had weathered the storm. Now they were on the hunt for the Soviet missiles. excursion had been hampered by severe weather. 
Hurricane Ella, which military intelligence had assured would miss the area, was now relentlessly battering the region into submission. There was nothing Sergeant Reese or his men could do but wait it out. Reese watched as the storm took hold. His gut told him that the untimely arrival of Hurricane Ella was a perfect opportunity for the enemy to launch an ambush. He hoped his instincts were wrong. scattered the Soviet line, but their tanks were still out there and still advancing. Right through. 
Enemy armor is destroyed. They destroyed one of our tanks. They're trying to capture our base. Dropping target. With the storm abating, Reese could see the carnage left from the Soviet attack. His unit had survived to fight another day. of Hurricane Ella had subsided, replaced by the fury of American steel now headed towards their enemy. Time was running out. The Soviets were making preparations for a missile strike on the U.S. East Coast. Reese wasn't about to let that happen on his watch. With the skies clear, U-2 spy planes had pinpointed the location of three enemy launch sites. Everything now hinged on Reese and his unit blitzing the Soviet defenses to reach them. Reese patted the metal armor of his Walker Bulldog and ordered his unit forward. This was it, the moment of truth. They had to stop those missiles, come hell or high water. Reese had to face facts. There were just too many spots ahead for an enemy ambush. Fire on. 
target. That's gotta hurt. Looks like that one went right through. Reese glanced at his wristwatch. Time was running out fast. He had to stop those missiles from being launched at American soil. Been detected. Target locked. Looks like that one went right through.
like that one went right through. Ready to fire on target. Reese's hands were shaking from his ordeal, but the missiles had been destroyed. Against the odds, his unit had done it. Mission accomplished. Cuba was over. Against the odds, Sergeant Reese's unit had managed to halt the Soviet missile launch before it was too late. This was a bittersweet victory. Many of Reese's men would never see the hero's welcome waiting for them back home. The Soviet crisis had been dealt with for now. would never realize how close they came to World War III that day, nor the part he played in ensuring the uneasy peace between the United States and the Soviets remained in check. For completing this campaign, I get access to a temporary discount on the M4A2 E4 Sherman, which is just a ripper without the fancy camouflage. And there's a little typo here that says it's a tier 6 tank, but it is actually just the tier 5. This was a really fun campaign to play through, but I did find it a little more challenging than the other War Stories campaigns. My biggest tip if you're having trouble going through these missions is to just play a little more cautious, peeking around cover rather than doing crazy light tank maneuvers. That way you can conserve your hit points and let your teammates take some of the blows. I'm looking forward to replaying this campaign with some of my favorite tanks, and hopefully there'll be some more War Stories campaigns coming in the future. Stay tuned for more awesome World of Tanks videos.